Um, the, the plan for communities team has been very hard at work, and we are just delighted to be here to share a report on what we've been what we have accomplished. Um, I'm going to introduce the, the staff members um, from Plan for Communities uh, along the way, so you'll have a sense of what each person does. Um, I have two goals in my presentation tonight. One is to communicate um, exactly why we are indeed positioned for impact. And the other is to inspire you to grow your engagement with Planned Care Communities. We have a wonderful program tonight, and you'll learn a lot. Um, if you're new to the whole food plant-based uh, movement, or if it's new to you in terms of trying to make some changes in your own personal life, um, we'll touch on a lot of information, and um, there's tons of information on our website. So, um, so you know, stick with it, and definitely check on our website, join a pod, and, um, and, and great that you're here tonight. Um, we actually have five exciting announcements tonight, sort of announcement surprises, and I'm going to get to do three of them. I think uh, Jim is going to give you two of them. Um, but um, I'm very, it's going to be a fun night because of that, because a lot of things came together around the evening. Okay, let's see. Nope, oh, that's the one right. There we go. Okay, so just, uh, you saw it all in the video, it's our background, we stand on the shoulders of Dr. T. Colin Campbell, and, um, and Nelson as our founder, and the, and the film, uh, Planned Pure Nation. Um, it was really, that was uh, the start, there's a call to action at the end of that movie, and that's what started all of the pods. Um, and so underlying everything that we do is really about sharing the health message that science has, has made very, very clear, that folks can take control of their, of their health, they don't have to be a victim of their genes, um, all they need to do is change what, um, what's really on the end of their pork. Um, so what, what are the pods? What are they? Um, and um, this, a lot of it was covered in Nelson's video. Um, as, as Nelson said, anyone can join a pod. You don't have to be a vegan. Um, you just need to be interested in learning. And we are inclusive. We want to meet you wherever you are on your journey. Um, the pods are really important. They offer community and support um, to, for those, um, to help people along the way and to stick with it long term. They do all kinds of things, like um, potluck dinners and holding veg fests and lobbying even members of Congress. Um, many people have difficulty making the change, um, especially the folks in their families might not be making the same change at the same time, um, and so the pods really become very important for a long-term change. Um, and they really, we view them as really the, the, uh, the, the backbone of the, um, of the grassroots movement. That, that's the next slide. Okay. Um, so, so this graph is really, uh, we were excited when we, when we put this together because of what it shows is the growth of the, uh, the people, the amount of people that are connected uh, to the Plant Pure Community's net pod network from the pods. And you'll see something happened um, a few months ago. We started to really take off. and. Um, I think there were about, I think 132,000 was the number I saw a couple of days ago in terms of the number of people. And that change has been <laughs> um, What happened? What's the reason for this tremendous growth? Um, so it's pretty clear it's, um, that we have done a lot of work. And what we discovered is, is that there's a sort of program that has emerged or sort of kind of grew up around us. Um, you know, we did a strategic planning process, and um, we heard what the pods wanted, and um, ultimately um, we created lots and lots of different things to offer the support. That's the way we view our role is supporting this grassroots movement across across uh, the globe. Um, and so, there's actually a document. This is the first announcement. There's a document. Um, uh, it looks like that. It's, it just this went up on our website, and there's a couple of copies. Uh, Jesse, I think it's Jesse Scott, and we're going to put them in the back. There's not enough for everybody, but uh, during the break, you can uh, pick them up. Um, it's, a, it's an incredible thing because what we do um, is we realize we have this whole program. We have uh, welcome sessions and office hours, and we do social media with, 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 for groups for pod members to speak with each other, and scholarships, and square for gardening competitions, and free seed giveaways, and um, leadership com com uh, competitions, and even mentor programs, and more. So, um, and it's growing. We'll continue to do whatever the pods tell us that they need. So, and actually, Mitch Costell has helped a lot in helping us figure that out. He's my pod leader. So, um, okay. So, uh, there we go. 
Okay, so there, there you can get a sense of where the pods are. Um, if you go on our website, you can um, actually look up any, there's one in your community. Um, and as you can see, we are um, about 500 pods in um, over 50 countries. I'm sorry, over 50 pods in 23 countries. So we are truly a worldwide network. Um, at the same time, there's lots of room for growth, right? Um, this is, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of people uh, need to learn more about this and get more involved. Um, in a few minutes, uh, Caroline is going to pass, uh, pass around a clipboard, um, or, or a few clipboards, or anyone who's not in a pod who wants to get involved, um, you can just put your name down in your zip code and um, we'll reach out to you or we'll send to the pod leader um, if, um, if, um, if uh, you're not already here. Um, so we view the pods and the pod members as a small but growing army of change makers. Um, and so a big part of what we are intending to do and we already are doing is essentially advocacy. Um, uh, again, to make change happen. Um, and we work with the pods on many levels uh, in terms of advocacy. There's uh, the traditional change, like um, calls to action for legislation regarding the SNAP program, which is the, um, uh, what used to be called the food stamps, uh, with monitoring the farm bill. Uh, we got involved a little bit in some subsidy issues in Canada. Um, even the California legislation about um, getting vegan meals in hospitals and prisons, some of the folks in, in, our, in our California pods weighed in on that. Um, but in addition to that, we also, um, okay, that's why I haven't figured out the animation on it. But in addition to that, we, uh, we work more on the grassroots level. And so pods get involved in school lunch programs, and they hold veg fest, they, hold, they create community gardens and more. And we have a series of toolkits on our website, uh, overseen by Caroline Dyer, also our vice president, who's here today. Um, there's tons of information in, um, in these toolkits. Um, if you haven't seen, looked at them, I encourage you all to do so. Um, there's um, just this is a quick review on sort of what's in there. This is the transitioning to whole food plant-based. Um, anyone can do it. You can bring us to a pod meeting. Uh, there's all these action sheets. There's one that's how do you talk to your friends about some of the changes you're making. Here's an info sheet where we get our proteins. Um, <laughs> and the toolkits also have multimedia. Uh, this, one, this one has multimedia information in it, and it's got a whole slideshow that you can download. Anyone can download, it's all free. And if you want to do a meeting in your community, um, you can use this. And we're building all of this across all of our, um, our, our toolkits. So um, uh, the Nelson mentioned this also on the uh, the video is the restaurant campaign, which there's also a toolkit on, um, is um, one of the things that emerged from the pods and the um, and, and all the advocacy work that we're doing. Um, we kept, we were actually it was about a year ago that we kicked off the restaurant campaign, um, and um, the goal was is to encourage every restaurant everywhere to add one item on their menu that is food based and no added oil. Um, we, you can see the numbers, 93 restaurants, 22 states, 6 countries. Uh, this, the countries are the U.S., Australia, Bulgaria, Denmark, Israel, and Canada. Thank you. And, um, and we encourage everybody to, um, to get involved in, in the restaurant campaign. There's some many pictures. Uh, hopefully you've all eaten and you're not too hungry looking at this. Um, I wanted to just do a quick shout out to Amy Tassatano, who is the winner of our, our restaurant campaign challenge. Amy, you want to stand up for a moment? Again, where are you? Uh, Amy. realized we needed to do some shortcuts. There's a, a one-pager in the back. You can, all take, you can pick that up if you'd like. Um, and you can take that with you, and that will help you get, get the, uh, the restaurants to, uh, to make the change. Um, so we also do webinars. We started that this year. Uh, we had five successful webinars in 2018, all free. Um, they're steadily growing. We had 700 people at our web, uh, tuned into our last webinar. 
Dr. Benjamin Hahn is a doctor out in, um, in a, he's connected to Kaiser Permanente in California. He just joined our board of directors and we will, we'll be welcoming Dr. Benjamin Hahn on our next uh, webinar in January. I think the date's the 23rd of January. And then we'll be doing another uh, webinar on, I think it's March 6th, so we'll be moving around with um, the Square Foot Garden Foundation. Uh, there's a partner of ours last year, we're just delighted. Laura and Steve Bartholomew, are you here? Ah, hello, yes, there we are. So uh, we'll be working with them again in, in 2019, so we're excited to be doing that. If you haven't subscribed to our website, uh, you should, because then you'll get notif notice, uh, notification about all the great things that we're doing. So, um, so I want to talk to you about the OASIS program. I actually want to uh, talk to you here first. Um, the, the OASIS program is directed by Alex Brown. Alex, you want to raise your hand? Uh, <laughs> um, so we're um, so very lucky to have uh, Alex. Um, but the OASIS program was all about um, Nelson's vision essentially of not leaving people behind of this, this message of health and this opportunity for health just because of the zip code that they lived in. And it's his vision that we should create an, um, an opportunity for uh, folks to get together um, and run jump starts in uh, poor, community, poor communities. Um, and so we started that program. Um, the, um, the issue of eating a, a foodborne disease in our population is very, very bad. It's, it's the things that kill most Americans. But as bad as it is in the general population, it's far worse in underserved neighborhoods and poor communities. And so that's what this is all about. Um, and so the first round, uh, we did the first round of the OASIS pilots last year. I think we did uh, nine pilots. And um, this is some of the results. It's the first year, so none of this information is it's, it's kind of a mix and match. We're testing on many, many different things, uh, including the size, the duration, and other elements um, in the, in the uh, program. But you'll see that a total cholesterol dropped uh, a range of 9 to 18 points, and triglycerides went down to, uh, 3 to 39 points. People lost weight, 2 to 5 pounds on average. So, um, so it, it really has, it does change, uh, impact people's lives. Um, so the um, other thing that's very, very exciting, this is the second thing I'm announcing, is there's going to be a press conference on Sunday in Harlem where we are actually kicking off um, an incredible um, initiative. Uh, earlier this year, we, we issued a, an open invitation um, to anyone who wanted to submit for the second round of Oasis Pilots. Um, and, um, and so what I'm, gonna sh what I'm showing you here is a little bit of a sneak, a sneak peek at what's happening on Sunday. Um, we're working with an organization called Somos Community Care. Are the folks from Somos still here? No, they're not here. Uh, they were here a little bit earlier. Um, but Somos is a consortium of 2,000 doctors. They serve about 700,000 Medicaid patients across the city. And um, they are working to reform the whole Medicaid system in New York. Um, and reduce hospitalizations by 25% over five years. And Dr. Diego Poneyman, who is really, the, he's the chief medical officer, who's the main person we're working with, um, he eats whole food plant-based and um, he treats patients that are struggling with diabetes and he saw the synergies. And so we are working with them and since we've been working with them since the spring. Um, and so our first pilot's gonna be 36 people uh, uh, the kickoff's on Sunday, they actually had their blood test yesterday, and on Monday starts day one, in 10 days they'll, they'll eat the uh, Nelson's food, uh, whole, uh, whole food plant-based, no added oil, they'll have their blood tested on day 11, and then um, we'll see um, lots and lots of tears probably. It's just so amazing that people realize that they can take control of their health. Um, Leanna Levine Reisner and Lynn Diamond, I know you stood up already, but quick, quick stand up again, they're doing, they're doing amazing things. They have to Um, shopping list, they got a discounted fairway uh, for healthy food, just amazing, so so thank you. Sorry? Okay, great. So Somos is turning Medicaid on its head. Um, they're starting to reward doctors 
for keeping their patients healthy. Um, it's an amazing thing, and we're part of that with them, and so we're so excited to be doing this. Um, we are expect to be doing our second pilot with SOMOS, um, also in Washington Heights in December, and then another four uh, in the first quarter in, in Brooklyn, and uh, not in Santa, in Brooklyn, and Queens, and the Bronx. So um, amazing stuff. We're just so excited to be doing that. Um, what does SOMOS stand for? I think it stands for SOMOS, but probably in Spanish we are, is my guess. I don't think it's a Portuguese word. It means we are. We are, yes. Yeah, we that's are. Awesome. You can imagine Spanish. where we could be. Yeah. Um, and so anyway, so it's um, it's really uh, a very, very exciting to be uh, to doing that with them. Um, and even the only work that we're doing with SOMOS in, um, in New York City, uh, we are, this is a national program, and we are working, continuing to work in Chattanooga, and um, we'll be doing um, a pilot in Pittsburgh, thanks to Hank Mayer, um, in South Florida, in Knoxville, Tennessee, and possibly also Chicago we're looking at. So again, it's Nelson's vision. It's all about empowering people to take control of their health. It's so powerful when people understand that the medicine, the metformin they've been taking for 30 years, when they, when they thought they had to continue the rest of their life, um, um, after 10 days of eating this, all of a sudden, you know, their doctor says, oh, you're over-medicated and you need to either cut it out altogether or cut it in half. It's just, it's just remarkable, re remarkable. Um, when they see their, their, their medicine, uh, their, um, their blood tests. So, um, this two quick shout-outs. Uh, again, Hank Bader for uh, providing the, the resources, the grant to us to um, do the, pot, the uh, Oasis pilot in Pittsburgh. And um, Born to Skin, Patricia Walker has actually, uh, she's actually donated some products here. But for every every uh, order that people make of this beautiful skin cream and other things, uh, she's donating $4.50 uh, to help pay for the meals um, uh, for the Oasis program. So it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, talking about this, this uh, we had a press conference earlier today. There's the press releases, I think, on the back, and both of them on your chair. Um, so last year, when you we, we announced the restaurant campaign, this year we're starting a new thing, and that is um, uh, this coalition building initiative, which is part of our larger food climate connection campaign. Um, the press conference was live streamed, so if you missed it and you want to watch it, even when the when the camera fell, um, it was kind of <laughs> um, we can't do that. Um, the initiative built on our webinar that we did in August with Nelson and Peter Lehner from Earth Justice. Um, it also builds on Nelson's um, and Dr. Campbell's Healing America campaign, uh, where they went all over the country on a national tour. Um, and Nelson will be talking about that quite a bit later. Um, so, so this this initiative that we're doing comes on the heels of a report that came out on October 8th, uh, came out from the UN on climate, and which projected that we have about 12 years um, if, uh, if we don't make massive changes in, um, in, our, in our lives. Um, the report also, remarkably, recommended that everyone should reduce their meat intake by 30%. So there's an enormous uh, and growing recognition of the impact of, uh, on climate from our food choices. But unfortunately, for the most part, um, that people start thinking, well, maybe we should change the way agriculture is done. They don't really focus on getting more people to eat less, people to eat less meat. And that's where our coalition building initiative comes in. It's a one-year initiative, and our goal is to bring together the, um, the food and nutrition leaders with the, um, the environmental and climate leaders, and uh, develop principles and common language and, um, and start to make some significant changes. So how many of you knew that the climate impacts of our food choices are bigger than transportation combined? Uh, see, all right, you guys, you know, you know, you know, most people didn't know, I didn't know that. Like, and why did I know that? Why did I know that? That's so important, right? So then this is the kind of stuff that we're gonna be looking for, really getting people to understand that when they make that decision in the grocery store, what they're gonna put on their, um, in their plate that, they, that they're having an impact. So what can I do? What can you do? Um, there's lots of things you can do. You can eat more plants. You can obviously donate to us. This is a fundraiser. Um, you can use our toolkits. Definitely take a look at them and start a local um, initiative. You can join or create a pod. You can join our restaurant campaign. Any chance time you go out and have an opportunity to, to eat a meal. Or you can actually get involved with some of our advocacy work. And 
Until tomorrow, there is a very special thing going on with Amazon Smile. It doesn't cost you any money, but if you sign up and um, you buy some things on Amazon, I think they're multiplying it by 10 or uh, 10 times what they normally do in terms of their donations. So, so definitely check that out. And um, in conclusion, again, thank you Heidi, Heidi's Health Kitchen and um, for the delicious food. And thank you to the Plant Care Community uh, team. I, I, don't, I think I missed some of the folks here, but Caroline Dyer, um, Alex um, Brown, uh, Jesse Stahl, and um, Kelly Flegel, uh, many of them, oh, everyone came in from out of town. And so thank you all for the hard week work you do. That is, it's really showing um, how much um, work we're getting accomplished. So. Thank you to the staff. Uh, about what you think, click here to subscribe, and until next time, be strong, be well, and be green with Amy and Nelson Campbell and plant your community. Bye-bye.